This is a world-scale project. This is the largest pipeline project undertaken in Australia. Everything about this project is huge. This project has just brought huge jobs to this region, from Queensland to Australia. Just being able to start a project like this and getting it done and seeing it go through all the cycles. It's a great feeling building the Australian Pacific LNG pipeline from the Surat and Bowen basins to the LNG plant on Curtis Island out offshore from Gladstone is one of the largest diameter, longest and most successful pipelines ever to be built in Australia. This is the largest pipeline project undertaken in Australia. The pipeline includes 720 kilometers of high-pressure gas pipeline, of which 360 kilometers is very large, 42-inch high-pressure pipeline. The scale of the project alone is a challenge. The first three years of a pipeline project are all about approvals and engineering. Project engineering starts early identifying the route of the pipeline, and then designing the pipeline with safety in mind. Design as well as approval is to gain access to land to cultural heritage clearances, the environmental approvals, working with stakeholders, working with councils, and working with government. First the sheet into a U shape, then form it into an O shape, then they weld it, we finish expanding it, then they have a complete pipe, then it goes through some rigorous testing, they operate, deliver the pipeline to the wharf, place it on a ship. There's 270 000 tons of pipe coming onto the project, and they move each piece of pipe about 10 or 11 times, so they move about 3 million tons. In order to construct a pipeline, staging areas and storage yards are cleared, strategically located along the planned right of way. These areas are used to stockpile pipe and to store fuel tanks, sandbags, silt fencing, stakes, and equipment parts. They provide parking for construction equipment, employee trucks, and locations for office trailers. Staging areas are cleared and covered in rough stone gravel, often reinforced with large wood timber matting. These areas can be located in fields, pasture, or forested land, and can impact streams and wetlands. Welding pipe is one of the most challenging tasks any welding professional must do. Due to the sheer number of procedures necessary to create a quality pipe weld, pipe welding requires versatile skills and a lot of experience. Couple this with the harsh working conditions, and you get a job not everyone is meant for. 
they have to make sure that the welding is done with very high quality people. Currently doing about 100 good people, so up to 2 kilometers of welding happens on that firing line every day. The pipe sections will then be welded together, sandblasted, and the weld joints coated with epoxy to prevent corrosion. Finally, the weld joints are inspected with x-ray to ensure their quality. So why is it necessary to coat pipe welds with epoxy? Join me in going a little deeper into this issue. Epoxy powder coating is a new type of coating which is completely solvent-free. Sprayed in powder form and fused into film, good epoxy powder coating can prolong the service life of pipelines. Reduce routine maintenance of pipelines. Reduce operation and maintenance costs. Epoxy powder corrosion resistance and chemical resistance. Easy to construction. Coating hardness. Smooth appearance. Liquid epoxy coating takes epoxy resin as the main film forming material and the content of epoxy resin is not less than 25%. The epoxy resin content in the coating is high and the anti-corrosive coating has great bonding power and high mechanical strength. The curing speed is fast and the coating is compact so that the anti-corrosive coating with excellent performance can be obtained. Liquid epoxy powder has strong adhesion, excellent corrosion and wear resistance electrical insulation, and physical and mechanical properties. The joint of pipeline is the heat-affected area of pipeline weld and the sensitive area of pipeline inner wall corrosion. At present, the commonly used internal anti-corrosion farsening technology of pipeline includes internal coating patch technology, lining short pipe patch technology, mechanical pressing, and internal patch technology, etc. The maturity and construction quality of pipeline internal joint technology are directly related to the overall effect of internal anti-corrosive layer protection.
The pipes will be lowered into the trench using a system of multiple cranes. The top will then be backfilled and compacted, and once completed, simply restoring the topsoil behind will make the pipe level. A safe environmental state so that landowners can reuse the land and the pipeline does not interfere with it. Environmental and safety issues are top priorities. Another interesting construction method is how the pipeline crosses the river using a process called horizontal directional drilling. We have to make HDD, which is a horizontal directional drill, which HDD involves setting up set up a pilot hole on one side of the river, with the drilling head going through to the other side, attach the boring head and then pull it back through until the required size of the hull on the other side of the river is achieved. We will have the casing and the pulling head will pull this part of the shell. Pipe under the river in one go through the HDD hole very effective to cross rivers like this due to the low impact on the environment. After the two pipelines are constructed by welding and tested, they are transferred into the pipeline storage tank. Twin pipes attached to buoys across coffer dams and flooded wetlands. A 450-ton winch will then begin pulling the double pipe rope across the canal. It was a challenging process for the workers on the construction site. Not only do we encounter work difficulties, but also weather problems. But they finally finished. The processing plant by 18 months of intense work, the final construction world on the main line gas pipeline had been completed a major milestone for the pipeline's team and the Australia Pacific LNG. The LNG pipeline installation process involves collaboration among engineers, environmental experts, regulators, and local communities to ensure a balance between energy infrastructure development and environmental stewardship. The successful completion of each stage is crucial for the safe and reliable transportation of LNG. The pipeline network fuels the nation's daily functions and livelihoods by delivering resources used for energy purposes and is therefore extremely important. Do you see that this is a great project? There are many difficulties during the installation process and also many problems that do not exist in other projects. If you like it, Click the like button and let us know your questions or opinions in the comments section.